and welcome to Ingenious House channel. So far we've learned some basic concepts about friction. Now it's the time to analyze rolling friction. Let's review some common examples together. You might have played bowling and you've seen the balls rolling over. You might have also experienced cycling and driving. Or you may sometimes watch a soccer match on TV. In all these examples, rolling friction plays an important role. In fact, rolling friction is a frictional force that appears when one object rolls on another. However, it is classified under static friction. You might wonder why. Before answering this question, we need to know the exact definition of pure rolling. When an object, such as a disc, rolls on a surface, it is rotating without sliding. It means that the contact point between the disc and the surface is a stationary and no relative motion occurs at this point. In other words, A bar will be equal to R times alpha, which is the acceleration of the mass center that is denoted by A bar will be equal to its radius times the angular acceleration alpha. Therefore, this rolling disk can be compared with a block at rest which is also at the static state. That's why Fs appears in the rolling motion. As long as the magnitude of Fs does not exceed the maximum value Fs max, no sliding occurs. On the other hand, when an object rotates and slides at the same time, kinetic friction takes place instead of Fs. Furthermore, this type of motion is no longer known as pure rolling. In this case, A bar and alpha are independent. Now let's look more closely. Any rotational movement might be accelerated by alpha or it might have a constant angular velocity. For each of these cases, we can write the moment equation about the center of mass. When alpha is zero, the total moment about the centroid is also zero. Thus, there are no applied forces producing torques and Fs does not exist. Whereas, a non-zero alpha requires an applied force and that would be Fs. For instance, when a disc is rolling down on an inclined surface, the frictional force is responsible for producing the needed torque which makes the disc accelerate angularly. Rolling friction must be considered in many applications. An interesting case is the rolling motion of car wheels. Imagine a rear differential car accelerating in a vertical plane to the right. In this case, front wheels tend to rotate clockwise. During this rotation, no motor power is applied to the wheels. In order to maintain the acceleration, the friction exerted to these wheels should provide the needed torque which causes the angular acceleration. Therefore, the direction of this frictional force should be to the left. Meanwhile, in rear wheels, the applied torque by the motor is responsible for producing the acceleration. For a moment, let's assume that the exerted friction is directed to the left. Considering that, this force would no longer resist the motion. As a matter of fact, it is helping the car move forward and provides extra energy. This assumption is violating the conservation of energy principle, so it can be concluded that the resistant friction would be to the right. Calculating the moment of this friction force above the center of mass clarifies that this produced torque opposes the delivered moment by the Massa engine. Thanks for watching us. Don't forget to like and subscribe if you have any questions. Let us know in comments.